So, okay. <laughs> and I saw so my YouTube feed and video, like videos will come up. Like sometimes it'll be like old ones of like yeah. LA. And then um, the, the thing popped up. I don't really n- fully understand the full Stuttering John story, but I was just watching you. Yeah. Uh, having, well, I don't know if you had to rebut to Stuttering John for whatever, whatever <laughs> this is about. But I laughed so hard because I'm like, you, oh, you're already like, like about five minutes too long for Stuttering John to know. <laughs> He's already checked out, dude, while you're trying to explain the case. Like, but what, what did he actually do? He, had, he was telling people to send him in money for his friend, but you don't know who it is. And yeah, he, well, know. over the course of the years, he's just been like – he's a guy that can definitely dish it out and not take it. And uh, Artie Lang, it, 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 that proved it. Artie, when Artie was on my show, it was the Artie and Anthony show for 10 minutes. Artie, you know, was going through his uh, issues at yeah, right. the time. But uh, John would come on and, you know, Artie, Artie loves busting balls. Yeah. And, and, and we're all part of the same group. We bust balls. It's funny. It's whatever it is. John would, like, you could say, Artie would say something like, John, w- would you get the shirt out of the hamper? Why don't you do your fucking wash? And, and John would explode and go, you try to kill yourself with bleach and stabbing yourself and your mother is fucking whore and your father died and you fu-. And you're like, dude. Chill, what, what the fuck is wrong with you? What is this, the roast battle in the belly room of the comedy store? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's he's just a so- sociopath. And, he's dumb. You know, he's a dumb dude. Like, he is you know, not a smart guy. He's so genuinely. stupid. I said it so many times. If this was a character someone was playing, it would be the most brilliant character. If, if, if John would go, oh, I hate having to play stuttering John because he's such an idiot, but – it's my bread and butter. I go out and people go, hey, Stuttering John. I'm like, no, I'm John Melendez. I'm not that idiot, but it isn't. He is that idiot. He didn't He's know so he fucking was. stupid. Yeah, yeah. yeah it, before he got like, oh, like he, his identity was like probably just stuttering, like, um, you know, John Melendez when it came yeah. in. He's like, now, like when I had a friend back in college who I think is doing okay now, but, you know, one guy who starts re- drinking and re- he, he, this dude, Crazy John. Or yeah. Was, as like lightly as a nickname, like, hey, Crazy John, and he really ran with it. And then he started really being performatively crazy at the – Right. You know, like 20, like kids, like, all right, look, Crazy John. <laughs> hey, <laughs> Crazy <laughs> John. I know you're <laughs> in there and you can hear any, – anyway. He tried to do this charity thing. That's what we've really been uh, okay. ragging him about, and it's hilarious. Like, he doesn't make much money doing his podcast. You know, re- regardless, I understand it's not an easy thing to do and, and yeah, actually my, capitalize I do on it. Horribly. I'm terrible yeah. at it. So I <laughs> it's, a, it's not an easy thing to do. So he's trying anything he can to make money. Again, no problem there. But he said that uh, in his you know vernacular, he's like, there is a beloved chatter that chats in our room. <laughs> <laughs> who has a beloved loved one that has cancer. So what 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 we need to do <laughs> is raise money for this beloved chat is beloved. So I am gonna put up my Patreon and my PayPal and everything. Donate money to that and I'll make sure it gets to them. Oh no. Yes, yes, he did. Oh, no. There was no indication <laughs> He doesn't have the logistical aptitude to see that no, through, even that's if he exactly. means it. And it, became, it, 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 it was just like, could have. Yeah. it was just like, dude, you, first of all, you're lying. I know you're pocketing this money. Second oh. of all, why not make a PayPal to go, they, they want to remain un- 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 unknown. Anthony, so two <laughs> things. As, well, that's a beautiful stuttering John impression. <laughs> One, I... I'm I'm gonna take the opposite. If I had body language expert Scott Rouse here to really judge watching the video, we could right. get him and play it. I think that he had every intention. I think that the story is true. Okay, this is just like a wild guess. Okay, and he would have en- every intention. But if you were, if you know, if it is true, that's even more why you should not give the money to John, because you know it's like Jack and the Beanstalk. Like his mom sends him out, and <laughs> right. John's gonna buy magic beans when he comes back. <laughs> Magic John, beans get... will co- cure your cancer. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> magic beans. That's the mo- he's the mind that trades the cow for magic beans, and he intended to do it. 
and uh, that yes. it is would never even survive. The, that vital chemo money would never get to them. Also, Imagine that. He's just this, walking down the sidewalk with a handful of the money that he made, and someone just comes up and goes, with this very elixir, <laughs> we can cure whatever ails you. <laughs> Literally okay. a cart and a horse. And <laughs> I can give that to my friend. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Anyone what? could get chemo. I got magic beans. <laughs> <laughs> I... Um... I even felt a sense of vertigo when, at the end of the day, when all the appliances were removed, just as you would feel stepping off the boat onto the dock here in Venice, that undulating you- feeling. And what? I say this because it gave me an appreciation for those whose body is similar, because I learned that you need to be an incredibly strong person <laughs> that lifts physically weights. mentally to inhabit that physical being and you I are think fat. that that is Charlie <laughs> and I'm not yes. God you that's just... funny you are fat you so, already but... are fat Brendan what are you, you know, talking wait. about you're not I mean, the... like a twiggy up there talking about how horrible it is I got off a boat and removed and I no longer look fat anymore like you still I got look off the fat, SS dude. I got off the SS person of size at the end of the day. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and you know what? And I and I I vertigo. I literally had vertigo from being so much lighter so quickly. <laughs> You're just jiggling, bro. All I was like, am I am have. I floating through the air? <laughs> They but put a quaker. one. There's one thing they put on to give a little more of a double chin. Yeah. It's like, oh, when I took that off, oh. Oh. I just I felt like I could fly. You know what I learned? Uh, it, that uh, f- of people, morbidly obese people, are the most physically fit people on earth. Strongest <laughs> that will ever strongest. ever see. Strongest, strongest, best strongest. shape. Their bones are denser, especially right. near the knees. Wow. That's probably true if you're like a blue whale, like an actual <laughs> whale, not him playing this character. And, I love yeah, I it, love when they start that shit where they talk about the character like it's another person. Yes. You know, Charlie is is so brave and taught me so much. Shut up. It's you. You play the fucking <laughs> stupid thing. It's not okay, a real that's person. That's what Ron Jeremy would do. tell himself before he got picked up for his random sexual <laughs> yeah, assault. Yeah, yeah. The character of Ron doesn't understand boundaries. Right, right. He... <laughs> That's the character of Ron, who's it's... so brave and so, so fat. Okay, so yeah, now, if you had to Brandon Fraser actor's speech, what it took for you to do that impression of stuttering John Melendez earlier. Oh, <laughs> yeah, and oh. what you learned. If you could well, tell us what playing, you learned. Playing John Melendez it was one of the toughest roles Uh, I've had. As everyone knows, he's a stutterer. So I had to incorporate stuttering into my my acting. Yes, yes. And uh, the to become so stupid, so incredibly moronic was one of the most difficult things I had to do. I had to clear everything out of my head and and act like a blithering idiot in front of everybody for months and months on end. And, and, and still, I don't think I was able to really capture the I, imbecilic behavior of, yes, stuttering John. And would you, you say that what it? you realized is that um, uh, stupid people are the smartest people of all? Stupid people are indeed the smartest people. When I actually saw something that challenged my mind after the role, I got vertigo. I was dizzy <laughs> from the weight of actual knowledge in my head again. Flooding back into your head. Yes, you flooding back. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's, you know, the gravity of, of the burden oh, of, yes, uh, yes. of having an intellect. Uh, uh, we just see the uh, time bandits <laughs> when the bag is. I can't, he says, underlying is you are so mercifully free of the ravages of intelligence. <laughs> <laughs> what, a, what a great way to call someone stupid.